Hey guys, what is up? We are back with another full game commentary. Today we are playing uh, LeBlanc in the mid lane. And we are against. I think it's Diana? Yes, probably Diana. Could be Jace, but I think it's Diana. And that freaking beastly Sona music. Let's just turn it down just a little bit. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I don't like it at like 36 or 30. No, it has to be ending on a 5 or a 0. It's how I do. Uh, let's get this all set up. Top, mid, AD carry and jungle. Mid, mid, jungle, top, AD carry. Cool. All set up. So. If you watched my last video, the top five assassins, you will know that I said that uh, LeBlanc is the number one assassin. And the reason being is for everything I said before. Uh, I definitely have Thunderlord's Decree. I'm going 12-18, I think. Can be deceiving. And for runes, I have AP Quince, um, six scaling CDR blues to give me 10% at 18. Uh, the rest are scaling AP, I think, and it's then awesome. magic pen marks, and uh, I think I have hell seals. Yeah, scaling hell seals. So one thing you'll probably notice um, throughout this game is I play a LeBlanc a little bit different from most other LeBlanc players. Oh, damn. Uh, I rely a lot more on my chain and Q as opposed to my W. You'll see a lot of LeBlanc's uh, max W first for the wave clear and other sweet things that her Q or her W does. I like to max Q first uh, and then W second, but I still rely mostly on my chain for damage. And you'll see what I mean when I start trading with her. Just want to farm up. Uh, we're against Diana, so we do have to be a little bit careful. She is kind of like an anti-assassin. Uh, I could have mentioned her in my top five uh, mid laners, but I don't really see her as much of a mid laner. Mostly because I can't really play her mid. Uh, I think she's more of a jungler. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Uh, she definitely works in the mid lane. She's not weak. Right, cool. Definitely don't want to get hit in her moonfall. Because then she can trade back really well. And so, she's landing Qs, which really sucks, I want to avoid that. But, at the end of the day, she is burning a lot of mana, so... Hopefully, we can run her dry. Oh shit, I'm out of mana. Oh my god, I suck. I suck. GG. That fail flash. Come on, LeBlanc. Or I mean, uh, Lee. Make it. Oh, I didn't. Why didn't you flash, you pussy? Ah, uh, you could have flashed and killed her. Anyways, that was still my mistake. Uh, I tried to hit W at the last second, and then I didn't go back to it, and from there I was just kind of screwed. Uh, a little bit of mistake on my part. But it's gonna be okay, because we're super strong LeBlanc. I am exhausted right now, by the way. I went skiing today, and I am just so tired. Uh, I just want to go to sleep, but I totally forgot to do a commentary today. Well, I didn't forget. I was just, when I got up, I left and went uh, up to the mountain, and when I got back, I wanted to go sleep. Um, it's not that I forgot. It's just that, like, I, forgot, I got to do one, like, yesterday to, like, have it ready that I could just post it. So now I have to do this while I'm, like, super sleepy. A little bit careful. Uh, Q was supposed to be on her. Yeah, you can definitely tell that I'm a little bit tired. Um, like I haven't played at all today, and uh, this probably isn't gonna end well. But that's okay, cause we're LeBlanc and we're just gonna be OP. And I've just run myself dry on mana, cause I'm bad. Oh my god. Okay. 
Just need to chill, stop getting hit by Qs, and we'll be okay. Let's get some farm. We're just gonna relax. Just gonna chill. Everything's gonna be okay. Also, as a short little disclaimer, regardless of how I do in this game, I still think LeBlanc is the strongest assassin right now. My performance does not affect my view on her. Time to make an appearance. She wants to back, she can back. I'm oom. Once I hit 6, I can actually all in on her, though. I don't want to get hit by her Q unless I'm, like, under power. And even then, she could still probably trade one for one. If she gets close, I'm gonna look her up to punish. Stop her back. I'm gonna stop it again. But I do need to be careful, because if I W in, and then she all ends on me, uh, she can definitely kill me, so. So I need to be careful. Because if she Q ults, and then ults again, that could mean my death. Okay, cool. She missed her Q. So I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of being annoying and stopping her back. Alright, so I want to W in Q E if I can. But I want my W to hit her and ignite, so... Uh, I need to be careful. Cool. Little bit of a juke. I shouldn't do this. I was gonna go up and Q Alt W, but if she lands a Q, then I just die and then I look stupid. So. Oh my god. This guy. If he doesn't get this, I'm gonna be really pissed. I have that 2% spell van, so when he like kills those minions like that, it makes it so I can't heal at all. Come on, Sona. Be a beast. Turn around, Q Auto. Well. I'm sorry, I'm gonna walk back, because Lee won't. <laughs> So I'm just gonna W Alt and then Q E if I still need that. No, never mind. Um, I was gonna do that if she was farther back, but she's gonna Alt as soon as she hits the bush. I'm just like that. I always lead with my E. Um, it's not uh, the most efficient in terms of damage because of how I max. But, oh, well, I mean, it is the most efficient in damage, it's not the most efficient in speed. I need Lee to protect me a little bit here. But, win. Okay. Well, it's still fine. We got the kill. Kind of sad he got it, but it's totally okay. That's not okay. I don't know how I didn't get that. So from my playstyle, you'd think I'd max uh, E second, but um, I need to, you need to max W either first or second just for the cooldown and the mobility from it.
I was gonna buy lucidity boots, but I think I'm just gonna wait and try to get a needless. I think that'll be a better buy. Looks can be deceiving. Right, so we're not in the in the worst spot. She has triple Doran's ring, so it's a lot of gold she dumped into just having a, a, a decent lane. That's pretty good. Probably gonna have to use my ult just to clear this. Just so I don't lose power. I'm gonna lose it anyway. I didn't think she'd be able to kill me with that. It was a mistake on my part, definitely. But she's good. There's no way she doesn't die there. I just didn't think she'd have enough damage to uh, burst me that hard. But with Triple Dwarren's ring, I guess I should have seen that coming. I played this lane out really bad. I blame it because I'm sleepy. I know that's not a very good excuse, but I really am. And my reactions are slow, so... Especially that first play, it was just bad. Like... It's good to get my E off and like that, but um, when I didn't W back, I just I was like, oh, I'm just going to kill myself. Especially seeing as I was out of mana right there. It was just stupid. Usually I play LeBlanc fairly safe, and like relatively speaking. Like, I don't play like passive, but I play back. Exhaust is OP. Let's get away from the exhaust. Patient summoner. Shut down. So when she's running straight at me like that, she's usually looking to queue all and she keeps running in a straight line to close the most distance. So um, it's pretty easy to uh, to land your uh, chain. The deeps. That's the fastest combo you can do is QLW for the most damage in the least amount of time. But I like to use my E because it's more efficient in terms of damage. I could have helped them with drag, but they're pretty, um, they're pretty, uh, safe. And then, like, just chases up. Uh, so, I, I didn't really need to. Plus, I was low on mana, so I wouldn't have been that much help anyway. I mean, I could have done something, but it's okay. I love this skin. Like, I love the little dragon, it's so cute. I'm gonna go top. I'm always a little salty about the Shaco, but she's still alive, so. On my way, man. Uh, Shaco coming this way? No. Go down and get this blue bow. Thanks, Sana. Always a friend. All right, we're gonna go back, grab our uh, Ludens, and then we're gonna look to get a. Uh, we're gonna look to get boots and uh, uh, Morellos next. That's our next couple of buys. You really want to get 40% CDR on uh, on LeBlanc. Uh, you could get 30% and kind of count on blue for the 40%, but I, I don't really like counting on getting blues for my 40% because you can't really have it the entire time unless you have control of the entire map and you get this one and then two minutes and 30 seconds later you get that one. It's just not really easy to do, so I like to just get myself up, uh, 
40%. And 40% is really important on her because it really opens up avenues for jukes and things. Plus you want your ult on a really short cooldown. When she Q's, I'm going to W back. I didn't have vision on her, but... Oh, that's a good trick. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, I want to run away from her. So when the clone runs away like that, I can just kind of run up and look kind of stupid. Um, she'll think I'm the clone. Uh, definitely a gamble, but I mean, as you saw, she killed the clone pretty easily. So, <laughs> I mean, if I was going to uh, die from going that way, I might as well try something else. I'm going to tier 1 boot so I can kind of stay away from this Diana. Also, like at the beginning of that fight, I didn't W onto her because um, it wouldn't have killed her. Even though it would have done a lot of damage, it just wouldn't have been enough to kill her and my cooldowns would have been too long to uh, pick it up after that. One con on LeBlanc that I did forget to mention is that when you W in, it does kind of put yourself in the middle of the fight, which isn't always good on a squishy champion like LeBlanc, but you can just, you can avoid that a lot with your E, plus you can W right back out. She's still a fairly safe champion, and especially in terms of assassin, she's even uh, very safe. I'm just going to hold on to my ult. I'm hearing things, so I'm sorry. There we go. It's all smoke and Mine! Damn it. Got it. Oh wow, my farm is pissed. Oh, it landed. <laughs> Lag. I didn't get to the bush. I think I think I should have flashed out in the W bag, or maybe just W back and then flash this way. I don't know. I just played that poorly overall. I deserve to die there. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the lucidity boots right now, and then I'm gonna try and get Morello's uh, soon. I didn't think that um, Vayne would all out like that and be invisible over here. That's why I was standing right here. I figured they would all wait in here for an ambush for someone to, to face check or ward check, and then wait for Thresh to get a hug, but I was wrong. Here. Yeah. Well, that was just looking for Shaka. If he was coming towards us, that you would have landed, and then he would have died from being snared, so. W out. She kind of got stuck in a bad spot there. So when I throw my E like that, my E doesn't do like a whole lot of damage, it's only like 100 and something, but it also procs the Luden, so it does give a little bit of decent pose. Uh, I was like, why does my ult go chain? It's because my Q didn't land. Like, I was too far away, I was out of range for it. It's not that it missed. Can't miss a point click ability except for on Fizz and Vlad. And I guess Maokai. Come on. Three seconds. Uh. 
I got juke, man. Got juke card. Even though that's exactly what I would have done if I were the vein. I still got juke. Man, I hate the, like, you have to start static on, on Vayne now. Because, like, my, one of my favorite things when I first started playing Vayne was the fact that I got to start Blade, and you can't do that anymore. It's just not strong enough. Oh, my God. Got her. She misplayed that a bit. Alright, I'm gonna work on my, uh... Or keep working on my Morales, excuse me. Patience, Summoner. Ugh. Sorry, I'm not, like, super hyped right now. Sorry, guys. Hold very good at figure out which one the clone is. That was close. See, right there, <laughs> there's a great example of why uh, leading E is sometimes inefficient. Because I didn't proc my mark right away, so if my W didn't kill her, and if I had to wait, if I had to wait for my uh, E to kill her, I would have been screwed. Wowie is not doing so hot. Let's see if I can catch this uh, thrush out. Easy peasy. I'm just gonna hang out around here. Trust me. I wonder if I can get her. I think if I flash W Q all E, I can kill her, but I don't trust my mechanics enough right now. Alright, I'm playing a little better now. One of the great things about LeBlanc on my top 5 assassins is her really oppressive laning phase. And I didn't do that very well, so I was a little nervous that I was just going to play poorly all game, but I'm picking it up. Right, I'm going to work on uh, Rabadon's next. You can get um, Zhonya's here too, but I do think that Ludin's and Morello's start is really, really core. Uh, Lucidity Boots isn't great, but I do really yeah. want to rush that 40% CDR, so... Hey. 
waiting. It's all smoke and I want DJ Sona. Somebody give me DJ Sona. Music is good. I can't play music while I'm recording because of copyright laws. I got racked by Charagra. That's the real Shaco in front. You can tell by how much damage it takes. The clone takes more damage than the fake. I just saw this in Oh nice, got him. Way to go, Lisa. What's his build? Yeah, he has, he has quite a bit of damage between Cleaver and the uh, Warrior. Also, while I have a second here, uh, I would like to apologize for my top five video being so long. I really wanted to go in depth in everything I was talking about. Hopefully you guys kind of just put it on in the background while you were doing something else. Uh, I don't, like, I'll try to make the other ones a little bit shorter. Uh, I won't talk about, like, all the champions in the class or anything like that. Um, but... They are going to be long because I do want to go in depth in the champions I'm talking about and really explain my reasoning. Because uh, most top fives just like here they are, with like oh, two words about their strengths and weaknesses, and I want mine to be a little bit more in depth than that. Okay. I don't know what this is. A little bit laggy. I've been a little bit laggy lately. I'm gonna try to restart at my computer on the next one and see if that helps. Can't really help. I is LeBlanc. Though, Eddie LeBlanc is pretty freaking sick. It's all if you guys are ever against AD LeBlanc, do not, t do not take it lightly. It is deceptively strong. I'm just gonna wait for the 10 gold. <sighs> Alright. Setting up again. Feel a little fidgety. Apologize. to kill me. Oh wow, I went from 1-3 this game to 12-6. That feels pretty good, actually. Get warm. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Maybe I'm sleepy because I have a blanket. Oh. I'm gonna dish that blanket. Okay. I was very snuggly. Did we win right here? Oh wow. Nice. Anyways, uh, GG well played. Uh, I apologize if I was a little underhyped this game. I'm really tired if you can't tell. I know I mentioned it earlier. 
I feel like it's pretty obvious just by the tone of my voice. Um, do like, favorite, and subscribe if you did enjoy. I do really appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. And, well, us out a lot, even though I'm the only one that posts on here. Um, I can talk shit because none of the other people a part of the Sum Gaming League, Player 1, 2, and 4, do not watch this stuff. So, <laughs> I can talk shit on them all I want. So, please like, favorite, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is this YouTube channel. Uh, I do really appreciate uh, everything you guys do. And I do apologize for my really long video the other day. Um, that being said, uh, I am going to try to post, um, like, pretty much the rest of the StarCraft videos. I am, like, way ahead of what's actually posted because I was too lazy to edit them. But tomorrow, I promise, I will post, like, pretty much all of them. Because I'm already done with Heart of the Swarm, so I'll post all of those, or at least most of them tomorrow uh, and some of them tonight. Um, but anyways, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.